Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for today's at home full body Pilates workout. Today we're not going to be needing any equipment to work our abs, arms, glutes and thighs. All you'll need is yourself and your mat and we're going to get in a great workout. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start in a kneeling position. You can be cross-legged if that's more comfortable for you. You just need to be really lengthened through the spine, stacking each individual vertebra, one on top of the other. Crown of the head is lifted up toward the ceiling. So we'll start off with some shoulder mobilization. The arms come down by the sides. We're going to lift that right arm up, lengthening through the fingertips and round the arm down and back. Now over to the left side, reaching and lengthening through those fingertips as we circle the arm down and back. Over to the right and then the left, alternating sides. Try not to arch your spine as you round down and back. Keep your spine nice and lengthened and upright as we rotate through those shoulders. Good, really get a lot of length and reach and stretch, opening through the chest. Good, keep your chin parallel with the floor. Lengthen through those fingertips. We've got five and four. Feels really good to open up in these shoulders for three and two and last one. Amazing work. Now, from here, we're gonna get into position for a child's pose, so I'd take, like you to take your knees nice and wide on the mat. Big toes come together and we're going to sink back into our child's pose position, lengthening through the fingertips, drawing the forehead down toward the mat. From here, we're going to bend the elbows and arch the spine, gliding the chest just above the mat and then rounding up and then pushing the mat away rounding the spine and sinking back down on those heels. So we're bending at the elbows, arching the spine, coming up, rolling the shoulders down away from the ears, and then scooping belly in, rounding through the spine and sitting back on those heels. So we're arching as we come up, and then rounding, drawing belly button into spine on the way down. Now, once you get into this movement, you can slightly pick up the pace and make it a little bit more fluid. Really separating the vertebra as you push the mat away and round, good. So we're mobilizing the spine here. <sighs> Moving on the breath, inhale to come forward, exhale to round back toward those heels for three and two and last one. Really articulate your spine on the way down and then rest into a normal child's pose. Nicely done. Now from here, we're going to come forward. We're gonna bring the knees back into parallel and make sure that we have space behind us on the mat to step the legs out. The wrists come below the shoulders. We're going to step the right foot back, step the left foot back, coming into plank, creating a nice flat line with the body, holding here. Abs are lifted toward the ceiling. Nice broad shoulders for four, for three, for two, and for one. Gently lower your knees to the mat, flatten your feet, and lower your upper body down. Nice work. Now from here, we're gonna to continue to mobilize those shoulders. So I'd like you to stretch your arms out long. Chest is hovering just above the mat. Gaze is on the floor. We're going to inhale here. And as we exhale, we're going to bend the right knee and sweep the right arm back, bringing the fingertips to the toes. Lower and repeat opposite side. Good, lower and back over to the right. So as I come up, I'm looking out over my shoulder. So I'm stretching through the neck and really reaching with those fingertips toward those toes, stretching the arm and really moving through those shoulders. 
Nice. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift and stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Good work. We've got four. Come up a little higher if you can. For three. Reach toward those toes. And last one. Nicely done. Lower it down to the mat. From here, we're gonna go into some pullbacks. So we're going to hover the chest up off the floor and then pull the elbows back in toward each other. Then lower and then come up and lift again, pulling those shoulder blades together, lengthening out through the crown of the head. Now, breathe out to lift. Now, if you're comfortable here and you wanna step up the level of challenge, I'd like you to lift the right leg as you come up into your pullback. Lower, just hover the chest, and then lift the left leg as you come up. Alternating sides as you pull back. You lift and lengthen one leg at a time, pointing through the toe, gently squeezing the bum. Good, so we're contracting those upper back muscles and lifting and lengthening those legs. Now, if it's too much with the legs, just stick with the pullbacks and focus on the upper body. We've got four and three. Really knit those shoulder blades together. Last two and final one. Nice work. Lower your chest down to the floor. Keeping the legs about hip distance apart here, we're now gonna lift the right arm and the left leg, and we're gonna pulse one, two, and then lower, alter, opposite side. Lift, lift, and lower, good. Lift, lift, and then left arm, right leg. Good, alternating sides, little double pulse. Good. Lifting and lowering with control. Keeping that chest just slightly hovered up off the mat. And I want you to really lengthen through your toes and your fingertips here. Keeping those shoulders nice and level as you lower down. Lift, lift, and lower with control, good. You can challenge yourself by picking your chest up a little bit higher off the mat. Good. Keep lengthening through those fingers and toes. We've got three and two and one. Nicely done. Now from here, we're going to lift both arms and legs together at the same time. So we're gonna inhale to prepare and exhale, lift and hover, and then lower. Just hover above the mat before lifting up again. Good, inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. <sighs> Neck is nice and long. Reaching through those toes, reaching through those fingertips as though you're reaching to opposite ends of the room as you lift and lower with control. Working that back body, working those abs. We've got three and two. And final one, we're gonna come up and hold. Hold for five, four, three, lift a bit higher, two and one, nice work. Relax it down, take your hands by your shoulders and push yourself up into an all fours position. From here, we're gonna get into some shin lift work. So I'd like you to come to the top of your mat so you eventually have room to extend your legs out long behind you. So for our shin lifts, we want our wrists below our shoulders, knees below our hips. We're gonna curl the toes here and we're going to inhale to prepare and exhale to hover the knees just above the mat so the shins are parallel with the floor. Nice broad shoulders, creating that tabletop with the back and then lower. We're gonna go into 10 of those knee taps. So we're gonna lift and lower, lift 
and lower, really plugging belly in toward the spine as you breathe out to lift. Inhale and exhale, lower and lift. Keep the shoulders nice and broad. Gaze is down on the floor. We've got four, three, plug belly in, two, and one. Nice work. Now, we're going to go into our shin lift again, and this time we're going to open and close the knees. So we're going to open the knees wide, and then we're going to kiss the knees together, holding in our shin lift position for 10. So come on up. Shins are parallel with the floor. Widen the knees and then tap them together. Widen and tap them together. Keeping those shins parallel with the floor. Inhale, widen. Exhale, tap knees together. Good, you can do it. Plug belly in. Inhale and exhale. Keep some weight in the heels of the hands as well. We've got three, two, and one. Widen and tap knees together. Lowering the knees to the mat. Now take them nice and wide and push back into child's pose. Breathing here. Taking a little breather before we move into our final exercise in this position. So breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Walk your hands towards your knees. And just take a moment here to roll your shoulders down and back before getting into position for those shin lifts again. So we want the wrists below the shoulders, knees below the hips. We're gonna curl those toes and I'm gonna walk you through each of the steps. So we lift up into our shin lift. We step the right leg back. We step the left leg back. We lower both knees to the floor. Then we lower the chest between the hands, keeping the elbows in close toward the side of the body. Push up, lift up, and step those knees back so they're under the hips to our original position. So it's back, back, lower the knees, lower into your tricep, push up, push up, step back in to the starting position. Let's go. Back, back lower, tricep push up, up through the heels of the hands, back into your plank and step back into your original shin lift. Back, back, lower the knees, tricep push up, plank and back to start. Good, back, back, lower, elbows staying closed, push up through the heels of the hands and step it back in. Good, keep it up. Lift and knees in. Back, back, lower the knees. Sink, push up and plank. Two more sets. You can do it. Working the backs of those arms, working control. Nicely done, last one. And back to shin lift, lower down. Sit on your heels and circle those arms down and back. Opening through that chest. <sighs> Releasing tension for two and for one. Amazing work. Now we're going to get into our ab routine. Let's start off down on our mats. We're going to find the center of the mat and roll down slowly and with control. When we touch down, we're gonna bring our hands behind our head, fingers are interlaced. The knees are bent and the legs are hip distance apart. We're gonna go into some crunches here. So we're going to inhale to prepare. As we exhale, we're gonna lift up. Then we're gonna release the arms, bringing them by the sides, reaching through those fingertips, palms facing in flattening down through the abdominal wall, and then the hands come back behind the head, rest the head in the hands as we lower down. Let's repeat that. So we're coming up, straightening the arms, reaching with those fingertips, bringing the hands behind the head, and lowering down, inhale. 
Good. And lower with control. Lift, reach, flattening the abdominal wall. Hold and lower with control. Breathe out, reach through those fingertips as the head rests on top of the shoulders and then lower. So peel those shoulder blades up off the mat as you reach and stretch and then relax the head in the hands as you lower down. Good. <sighs> Flattening out those abs as you come up. Good. Plugging belly in. Being careful not to strain the neck here. So making sure the head is resting on top of those shoulders as you come up for your crunch. Good. We've got four. Nice work for three. Lift a bit higher. Amazing. And two. Last one. Lift, hold, and relax it down. Hands come behind the head. For this next move, we're going to keep the hands interlaced behind the head. The knees stay hip distance apart. We're going to inhale here. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring the right knee in toward the chest as we crunch up, lower. Left knee in toward the chest, lower. And then we're gonna go back over to that right side, but as we do so, we're gonna pick the left elbow up, bringing it toward the right knee, and then switching sides, right elbow toward left knee. So we're coming in with the right knee for a crunch, coming in, with the left knee for a crunch, and then two crossovers. Once over to the right, and once over to the left. Good, repeat. Drive the knee in toward the chest. Drive opposite knee in toward the chest, and then cross it over for one. Cross it over to the other side for two. Good, so drive the knee in toward the forehead. Plug belly in as you do so and then crisscross one each side. Good, really making sure that as we breathe out to lift, we're contracting the abdominal wall down toward the mat. <sighs> Keeping those elbows nice and wide as we cross over, lifting opposite shoulder up off the mat. One and two, cross over for two. Nicely done, keep it up. Last two sets, really pressing your low back into the mat throughout this range of movement. Good, last set, one and two and one crossover and two, amazing. So now from here, you can keep your head neck and shoulders down on the mat with your head resting in your hands or you can peel up into a crunch. Let's start off with head, neck and shoulders down on the mat. I'm gonna bring the legs into tabletop and we're gonna start bicycling the legs. So we're going to come forward, straightening one leg and then bend that leg and straighten the opposite as we pedal forward. So really lengthening and stretching through those toes as you extend the leg while opposite knee comes in toward the chest. Good, drawing really nice big circles in the air. Now, if you're feeling good here and you wanna step up the intensity, peel head, neck and shoulders up off the mat. Good, and keep the movement going. We've got three, two, and one, hold. Now we're gonna reverse the direction of the pedaling Good, if it gets too much for head, neck, and shoulders, simply lower them down. Keep lengthening through the toes, moving slowly and with control, contracting the leg muscles. Good. Again, we're flattening out the abdominal wall as we pedal for three and two. And final one. Bring one leg up, bend the other leg down, and then grab a hold either behind your calf or your thigh, whatever you can reach. You can also gently bend the leg if that makes it easier for you. We're gonna go into our single leg stretch. So now that we've got a hold of one leg, 
We're gonna stretch opposite leg out long, pointing through the toes, and then we're gonna switch the legs in the air, pulling, gently pulling the leg toward the chest. Inhale, switch, exhale, pull the leg in. Again, if you'd like to lower head, neck, and shoulders down to the mat, please do so. Good. Inhale to switch, exhale, hugging the leg in towards you. And point through those toes. Good, contract the core. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. I always have to remind myself of that in this one. Good, keep reaching and stretching for four, for three, for two, and for one. Lower both legs down to the floor, lower head, neck, and shoulders. Stretch the arms out behind you. Palms are facing up toward the ceiling. Just take a bit of a breather here. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth for three and two and one. Now from here, we're gonna go into our roll over. So we're gonna inhale to peel head, neck and shoulders up off the mat, reaching and lengthening through those fingertips. Then we're gonna start slowly to lower back, pause, come over to one side, reach to center, come over to the opposite side, reach to center, once more, up, once more, up and lower down with control. So we're working our obliques on our way down, working our upper abs as we come up, come slightly down, over, up, over, up, working into the waistline, keeping the hips evenly weighted for a total of four, and then back to center before rolling down. Repeat, come up, lift and stretch, Roll down, over, up, over, up. Controlling through those obliques. Good, reach to the center and roll down using your lower abs. Three more sets. Come down, crossing over, good. You can move at a slightly quicker pace. Good, come up. Use those upper abs to come up. Use those obliques to cross over. <sighs> nice work. And let's just fit one more in. Come up, cross over, cross over, cross over, and over. Back to center and roll down with control. Amazing work. Bring your knees in toward your chest here and just rock from side to side, gently massaging your low back on the mat. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. From here, we're gonna lower our feet down to the floor. You have two options here. One is to place your hands on either side of your tailbone, palms facing down onto the mat to alleviate any pressure in your low back and make it slightly easier. The more challenging option is to keep both arms pressing down on either side of your body. So we're gonna bring our legs in toward our chest and stretch them out long. If this is too much for you, you can bend them slightly. We're gonna go into some alternating leg drops. So I'm gonna lower my right leg, pulling belly to spine to lift it. Lower the left leg, abs in to lift, lower, and lift, alternating sides, lower and lift. Now, if you wanna step up the intensity a little bit more, you can lift head, neck, and shoulders. Good, we've got one more each side. Lift, lower and lift. Now, bring your knees in towards your chest for a moment to prepare. We're gonna go into five double leg lifts. So extend both legs out long together, lower the legs, and lift, legs are squeezing together. Let's do four, and three, lifting, using those lower abs for two. You can do it, last one, and lift. Relax the legs down on the mat, roll over onto your stomach, 
and let's stretch out those abs. So bring your hands on either side of your shoulder and we're gonna lift up onto the forearms or all the way up onto those palms. <sighs> Breathing deeply here, roll your shoulders down away from your ears as you stretch out that abdominal wall for three and two and one. Lower yourself down to the mat and bring yourself into a kneeling position. Let's roll out those shoulders again for three and two and one. Now it's time to move into our lower body work. Okay, from here we're gonna roll ourselves up into a seated position, use your hands to help you, and we're gonna come into all fours. So I'd like you to position your wrists so that they're below your shoulders and the knees are below the hips. We want our spine in neutral. The shoulders are nice and broad, so we're gently pushing the mat away. Belly is plugged in toward the spine and the gaze is down on the mat. We're gonna start off with this right leg first. So we're going to bend the right knee, pointing the right toes. We're gonna to bring the right knee in slightly and then lift. Bring the right knee in and then lift right toes toward the ceiling. So as you do so, I want you to keep this really controlled so you're not swinging or arching the spine as you lift that leg. So it's really slow and we're focusing on switching on those right glutes, keeping both hips square with the mat as we lower the knee and lift the knee. Good, lower and lift. Really focus on those glutes, squeezing to get that lift with the knee. Good, inhale and exhale. Lower and lift. Keep really pointing those right toes. Stay nice and balanced across those shoulders and those hips. Good, I can already feel those right glutes working. I can feel it in those right hamstrings as well. Keep it up, we've got three and two and one. Now, similar movement, we're gonna come in with that bent knee, but then as we lift, we're going to extend the right leg pointing through the toes. So we bend in, extend out long behind. Now the hips are staying square with the mat here. So don't let one hip open up to the side. Try not to let yourself lean over to your supporting side. Keep yourself nice and stable as you bend and extend. Now really point hard through the toes on those, that extension. Squeeze the glutes, work the leg muscles, straighten fully and then bend to come in. We've got four. And three, keep it up, you can do it for two. And last one, and hold it there. Now we're crossing that right leg over the left and then coming up and tapping the right toe to the opposite corner of the mat. So we're drawing a rainbow arc in the air. Toe comes down on a diagonal and then we lift and come up and over. Creating that arc in the air with the big toe. Try not to let your torso sway from side to side here. Keep yourself really stable as you come up and over and up and over. Good. We've got four, three, two, and one. Now I'd like you to hold the leg in the center so that the leg is straight out behind you, hips stay square, and we're just gonna do little micro pulses up. <sighs> Lifting that heel up toward the ceiling, you can do it. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the right leg down to the mat, lower the right forearm down to the mat, and gently come over onto your side. So you want your right leg straight here, your left knee is bent. You can either keep your left leg like so, or you can pull it into a bridge position either bef 
behind or in front of the leg, whatever is more comfortable for you. I'm going to extend through the toes of the right leg and we're going to go into some inner thigh work here. So we're going to lift and lower that right leg. Focusing on the inner thighs now. Good, really squeezing the inner thighs to get that lift. Just hovering the leg above the mat before lifting it right back up. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Focusing our mind and our attention now on those right inner thigh muscles. Good. Lift for three and two and one. Now we're gonna flex the foot, turn the toes slightly down toward the mat. Same thing again. Lengthening through the heel now as we lift and lower that leg. Good. Keep going. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Hold. We're going to do tiny little pulses. Little pulses. Keep that leg elevated. Lengthen through that heel. Good. Keep it up for five, four, three, two, one and hold, lift the leg an inch higher, point through the toe and lower it down. Amazing work. Now from here, we're going to come into a plank position and fold the right leg under the body to stretch it out. Coming into pigeon pose. Enjoying that stretch into the inner thigh, the opening of the hip and the stretching into the glutes. We'll hold it here for four, for three, for two, and for one. Now we're gonna come over and do the left side. So we're gonna to return to our all fours position, the wrists below the shoulders and the knees below the hips. From here, making sure the spine is in neutral so we have a gentle little tuck to the tailbone so we're not overarching. As we bend that left knee, Point those left toes, bring the knee in, and then lift it up. Make any little minor adjustments you need to to find good stability. Good, bend and lift. Lower and lift. Squeezing those glutes as you push those toes up toward the ceiling without arching. Notice the difference, so if I'm moving fast and I'm arching, I'm almost swinging my leg up. When you move slow and with control, you're using those glutes to get the lift. More beneficial on the glutes and not dangerous for the low back. As we breathe out, we can track the belly button up toward the ceiling. That'll also help to protect your spine. Good. Keeping that torso nice and stable. Gaze is down on the floor. We've got three and two and one. Nice work. Now we're coming in for that bend and extend. Bend and extend. So really lengthening through the toe. As you extend that leg out long, keeping those hips square with the mat. Make that extension count, really point hard through the toe. Squeeze all the muscles in your leg. Good. Bend it in and extend it long. We've got five, four, Three, two, and last one. Now we're crossing over and over. Alternating sides on that diagonal as we draw the arc in the air. Squeezing your bum at the top of that lift, the center of that arc. Good. Keep the shoulders nice and broad here. Sometimes when we get tired, we have a tendency to 
sink in those shoulders. You want to keep pushing the mat away from you. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Lift and hold in the center. And now those little micro pulses up. Lift that leg, pulse it up. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that left leg down to the floor. Lower that left forearm down to the floor and sink down into position for that inner thigh work. Making your bridge, if that's more comfortable in the front or the back. And now we're lifting and lowering, pointing that toe, ensuring that big toe pointing and lengthening through, all the way through the leg. Good. Lift and lower, lift and lower, leading up with that inner thigh, keeping those inner thigh muscles switched on and contracted the entire time, never really letting them relax because you're not letting that leg lower all the way down to the mat before lifting it right back up. Good. We've got five, four, three, you can do it, we're so close to the end, and one. Flex the foot, turn the toes down toward the mat, and lift and lower. Good, lengthening through that heel now. Lift a bit higher, challenge yourself. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at the top of the lift and pulse. Burn it out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Point and lower. Ooh, those were tough. Looking forward to stretching on the left side. So into your plank, then folding that left leg under the body, stretching it out in pigeon pose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Rolling those shoulders down and back. For three and two and one. Plant your palms into the mat. Step back into a downward dog. So pushing those hips up toward the ceiling, flattening out the upper back. drawing those heels down toward the mat. Bend your knees as much as you need to here to get that lift in the hips. And I'm gonna pedal out the heels here. Scoop belly in. Relax head, neck and shoulders. Let your head just hang for three and two. And one, level out the heels, drop the knees gently down toward the mat. Coming into a kneeling position. And let's just go back into those alternating arm circles. Really reaching through the fingertips. Breathing as you melt those shoulders down and back. For three and two. And one. Bring yourself into a kneeling position facing me. Thank you so much for joining me for today's workout. I hope you enjoyed that routine. I know I did. I feel like we really sufficiently worked all the major muscle groups. I hope you feel great and enjoy it the rest of your day. I'll see you next time.